So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are standing at the back, we would invite you to find a seat as the ceremony is about to begin. We have just a few folks coming in. Kind of hard to get here from work, I know, on a Wednesday night. Definitely worth it. So good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Victoria Park Collegiate Institute commencement for 2018. My name is Catherine Back, and I will be your master of ceremonies for this evening's celebration. Now, before we begin, I have a few reminders for you. For the enjoyment of everyone, we would ask that first of all, right now, that you switch off your mobile phone or turn it to silent. I don't imagine anyone's carrying a pager any longer. I think that's old technology. This year, as we've done in previous years, we have a professional photographer here at the front and you, each of the d diploma graduates will get a photograph as they receive their diploma. The photos will be available free of charge uh, when your child comes to return their gown to us at the school and to pick up their real diploma. So there is no need to t try and take a photograph of your child on, this, on the stage. We will provide you with a professional photo photograph. There is, of course, the opportunity to take lots of photographs outside uh, in the hallway area, or in fact, outside uh, in the, uh, the foyer, past the foyer and out into the parking area, uh, as the students will be able to retain their gowns, and uh, you might like to have some family photos out there after the ceremony. So we would ask that you, first of all, now that you've all switched off your phones, um, that you remain in your seats for the entire ceremony and that you refrain uh, from talking as much as possible. We know that everyone's enthusiastic, but just so that we can hear everyone's name being announced as the uh, graduates are announced. So the class of 2018 is about to enter the auditorium, followed by our platform party. So ladies and gentlemen, please stand in honor of our graduating class from Victoria Park 2018.
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by our VPCI quartet. Thank you. Please be seated. <clears throat> now, just before we get started, uh, I'd like to introduce you to someone. Sally. Sally, see you. Zhu, will you stand up, please? Everyone, I'd like you to meet Sally. This is Sally, see you, Zhu. She is the very last of our graduates, and her family is very excited to see her graduate, just as you're excited to see your young person graduate today. And the reason I'm introducing you to Sally is to say it would be lovely if everyone would remain in their seats long enough to see Sally graduate. Thank you, Sally. Now, before we get started with the ceremony, I'd like to call upon Jariat Purnava to do the land recognition acknowledgement. Jariat. We acknowledge that this building is situated upon traditional territories. The territories include the Wendat, Anishinaabek Nation, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, the Mississaugas of the New Credit First Nations, and the Métis Nation. We also recognize the enduring presence of Aboriginal peoples on this land. The treaty that was signed for this particular parcel of land is collectively referred to as the Toronto Purchase and applies to lands east of Brown's Line to Woodbine Avenue and north towards Newmarket. Thank you, Juliet. I'd also like to take a moment to thank our Victoria Park Quartet, Rashad Buyan, Mary Louisa de Jesus, Jayong Kim, and Helen Lee for singing our national anthem and for Juliet for the land recognition. <clears throat> Commencement is a very special and exciting time in a student's academic career. We, the teachers and administrators, are glad that each of you, parents, friends, guests, and especially our newest graduates, is here to join us. To begin the evening, I would like to call upon our principal, Vance Scott, to give the principal's greetings. Mm -hmm. 
Good evening and welcome to our commencement ceremonies for the class of 2018. How did that happen so fast? I'd like to extend a special welcome to the parents and guardians, families and friends of the graduates, our special guests, the teachers and staff of Victoria Park CI, the musical entertainment, and finally to our graduates themselves. Thank you in advance for your cooperation in helping to make this event run smoothly. Once again, this year we are webcasting the production, so our extended families will also be able to share in this special occasion. Thank you to the team from Ryerson University and Mr. Garrett and Mr. Hahn for their technical expertise. This year, a number of our teachers have also chosen to graduate. As our students take the next step in their lives, we have four teachers who are embarking on new adventures as they, as they retire from their active teaching with the TDSB. I would like to congratulate Mr. Arkin, Mrs. Chow, Mrs. Danzinger, and Mrs. Pengali for their outstanding careers and the many positive contributions they made to the Vic Park family. Mrs. Dale, our guide support person, also retired this year after first semester and we wish her all the best as well. Today, we celebrate an important milestone in the lives of our students. For our students, this is a time to be proud. Proud of the marks you worked so hard to earn, proud of the friendships you have cultivated, proud of your many accomplishments, proud of the incredible people you have become. Tonight you will hear of and see a number of our students who have earned significant recognition both inside and beyond the walls of our school. Thank you to them for helping make Vic Park a great school in our community and beyond. Your success is our success. Also, I would like to say thank you to the many fine students who may not have won public accolades, but showed up every day and created the incredible culture that makes Vic Park so memorable. As I reflect back over the last few years, I am reminded of many special moments spirit assemblies, Saturday night lights with the drummers, of course, prom, semi-formal, talent shows, I have to say it, robotics, music nights, and a whole host of other extracurricular and sports activities. It really is something for everyone at Victoria Park, and that is due in large part to our incredible staff and students, our Vic Park family. Four years ago, VPCI was honored with the responsibility of taking in, nurturing, and educating this incredible group of our current graduates. I know that our graduates are going to excel at whatever path they choose to follow. Graduates, please remember where you have come from, as it will certainly help you get to wherever you are going. Remember, this is not the end. In, the, in many ways, it's really just the beginning. Never stop learning. Henry Ford once said, anyone who stops learning is old, whether 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. The greatest thing you can do is keep your mind young. Congratulations to all of our graduates and their families. I'd like to take this time to thank the many folks who were involved in putting together tonight's ceremony. A special thank you to Mrs. Shank, who has been working late, very late, for the last few weeks to get everything ready in time. Thank you all for coming, and please enjoy this very special evening. Thank you, Mr. Scott. On the podium today, we have a, the leadership team at Victoria Park and some special guests, each of whom will be introduced during the awards portion of our program. We're also joined by our honored guest, Curtis Ennis, the Superintendent of Education for Learning Network 10. There he is. And, and our trustee, Mr. Ken Lister. At this time, I would like to call upon Curtis Ennis, Superintendent of Education, to extend his greetings to the graduates. Good evening, graduates, parents, and friends. Um, so those of you who were here last year, how many of you were here last year? 
Okay, just a few of you, so I can repeat the story. <laughs> so I have, well, tomorrow my youngest daughter graduated from high school. I have, yes, thank you. <laughs> I have four daughters, and all four of them have graduated high school, um, tomorrow being the last one. And this is for parents and for students. The first one decided that she wanted to go away to university. We said, what's wrong with the universities in the city of Toronto? How many parents had that conversation? <laughs> Thank you. She said, no, I want to go to McMaster. We said, OK, we'll support you. She went to McMaster. And by the end of October or November, somewhere there, she called that she wanted to come home. I said, for the weekend? <laughs> she said, no, for good. I said, OK, honey, I'll come and get you. Uh, my wife said, no, leave her there. <laughs> she decided she wanted to go there, let her stay there. I didn't have it in my heart for my first daughter to stay there, so I went and I loaded up the minivan, and I took her home. She came home, and a few weeks later, she said she wanted to go back. So the first lesson I learned, parents, graduates, and friends, is that sometimes, even at the age of 18, they don't know what they want. My second daughter went to university, and she didn't ask to go away. She didn't ask to do anything special. She just went and did her thing. She didn't even talk to us throughout university. Most of the times, we tried to engage her in conversations. She didn't say anything. She only told us that she was graduating. So we learned again that sometimes they don't need us. And then our third daughter decided to go to university. And we had to really, I had to call on friends to talk to her to apply to certain programs because she didn't know what she wanted to apply to. And so I learned that sometimes we have to hold their hands, even at 17 or 18. And then my last daughter, who's graduating tomorrow, she knew what program she wanted to go into from the time she was in grade three. And she never changed her mind. She got into all the programs she applied to. And I remember saying to her, honey, why don't you go into that particular prestigious program at that particular university? Uh, I said, a lot of students are trying to get in. She said, that's why I'm, I'm leaving a spot open for one of them. <laughs> and so I learned that sometimes they just have a mind of their own, and they're just going to do whatever they want to do. But so students, you are all unique, and you're all uniquely gifted. And parents, I don't compare my daughters to each other because they're all so different. And they are all so uniquely gifted. If, for those of you who are going away to university, how many of you are going away to university? Quite a number of you, too many of you, actually. Um, when you come home, spend some time with your parents. They miss you. And I remember when my daughter came home, she only had time for friends. And we were hoping and dying for, for a few moments with her. But she only spent time with her friends. So we were sad in that way. But then after she was there for a few days, we asked, when is she going back? Because she just created chaos and a storm in the house. And we were not used to that anymore. So think of your parents when you come back home. right? Show them some love. Let them know how much you miss them as well. They will really appreciate it. And when you go back, you'll be much happier for it. So congratulations to you. You have done well to reach this point in your life. And I know you are going to do more, even more. And when you make a difference in our world, you will remember that a part of your journey was represented by the years you spent at Victoria Park CI. And so be proud of that and represent that wherever you go. And remember. Whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you are right. Thank you. Thank you, Superintendent Ennis. Also tonight, uh, representing the Toronto District School Board, please welcome our trustee, Mr. Ken Lister. Good evening, graduates. Pleased to be here to bring you greetings and congratulations on behalf of the Toronto District School Board. Congratulations. Before I begin my speech, 
I want to tell you that it was not too long ago that Superintendent Curtis Ennis began in my area. He had previously been a superintendent in the Parkdale High Park area. The area that is uh, uh, the area that is represented by Trustee Robin Pilkey, who's the chair of our school board. And when he moved into our my community, Don Valley East, in my area, and I knew that I'd get the chance to work with him, she said, I have one piece of advice for you, Trustee Lister. Whatever you do, ensure that you never ever speak immediately after him at an event. <laughs> now I know why. Having said that, I don't have too much advice for you guys. I don't have wise words of wisdom. What I do want to share with you is a personal story for me. Story how when I was in high school, I got an award. How many of you think it was academic? And how many think you well, how many think it was academic or athletic? Hands up if it was academic. No. Athletic? No, okay. It was neither of the two, but I did get an award. I had a habit of being late at school. I was not known for being punctual. But one morning in particular, I woke up very tired, the alarm went off, and I got out of bed, I rubbed my eyes, put my feet on the ground, and started to walk towards the door to go to the bathroom and have a shower. As I stepped on the ground, a little disoriented and trying to adjust to uh, being awake and get my senses, somehow it, it almost felt as if my feet were a little bit wet. And I took a couple steps and I opened my bedroom door and right in front of me I saw my shoes floating towards me. There had been a huge flood in the apartment and I knew that day that I was going to be late yet again. When I told my teacher that story, it was passed on to the principal, and that year I received the best late story of the year award. <laughs> I don't know which of you is to receive that award this evening, but I hope that your years at Vic Park were just as memorable. I hope you have friendships to cherish for a lifetime, Wishing you all the best. Remember, always work hard, be honest, be kind. Anything is possible for you. Good luck, graduates. Thank you, Mr. Lister. Now, would all of our marshals please assist the special award winners in lining up at the wall on the right side of the auditorium? In a moment, we will be presenting our school-wide and community-based awards. All the subject-specific and departmental awards will be announced as students receive their diplomas. The award itself will be given to the winners along with their real diploma when they're picked up at school and they return their gowns. Students are asked to return to their seats after receiving their special awards as they will be coming back up on stage once again later on tonight to receive their diplomas. And I think we are marshaled and in order. Almost. So I'd like to ask uh, Ms. Tori, uh, our science and physics teacher, to come forward to present the Bo Brian Zhang Award. Brian Zhang was one of the most brilliant minds in physics in the class of 2011 at Victoria Park. He participated in numerous extracurricular activities and was strongly admired by his peers for his genuine passion for physics his intelligence, and his fun and his easygoing personality. Tragically, 
Brian passed away in November of 2014. This award is presented in memory of Brian Zhang to a graduating student who demonstrates a genuine passion for physics, selected by the science faculty. And this year, the Brian Zhang Memorial Award goes to Harish Ramachandran and Cindy Wang. There, see, lovely professional photographs. I would now like to ask our Community Police Liaison Committee member, Janet Marshall, and Police Constables Asif Sheikh and Chris Bollern to pre present the Community Police Liaison Committee Scholarship. That's a mouthful. This is awarded on an annual basis to youth who have demonstrated leadership in their high school and a commitment to their community. And this year's award goes to China Gomez. Congratulations to China. And lots of people in that photograph. At this time, I'd like to call upon Dennis Munger, our ACL of English, to present the first award named in honor of our longtime city councillor and current deputy mayor, Denzel Minnan Wong. This Community Spirit Award is presented to a student who has made an outstanding contribution to the life of his or her school and has a good academic and attendance record. We are pleased to announce that the winner of the Denzel Minnan Wong Community Spirit Award is Aidan McLeod. Well done, Aiden. At this time, I would like to invite Jason Penny, our ACL of History, to present the next two awards. <laughs> Popular awards. The first award is the Dr. John Hemming Memorial Math Bursary. This award is given to the student that has demonstrated a love for math and plans to pursue math studies in post-secondary school. This year's award goes to Judy Gia. Congratulations. <laughs> and our next award is the Equity Award. The Equity Award is given to a graduating student who has demonstrated active leadership in one or more areas of equity, which can include race, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, socioeconomic, and disability, and who has provided leadership in an equity-focused club and or initiative within the school. This year's award goes to Isabel Weigel Mohammed. And thank you for your contribution to our community, Isabel. I'd like to call upon Vice Principal Suzanne Reed to present the Ian Park Merit Awards. This award recognizes significant contributions by students in the areas of arts, athletics, drama, and music. This year's winners are Cindy Fang and Jawaria Israr. Well done. At this time, I'd like to call up Bruce Garrett, our OSSTF branch president, to come forward to present the Jim McQueen Excellence in Education Award 
to Javier George. Yeah. The OSSTF. Yay. The OSFTF recognizes students who demonstrate a commitment to humanitarian causes and their exceptional involvement and service to their school. Well done. I'd like to invite Karen Thorne, our ACL of Science, to pre present the Lieutenant Governor's Community Volunteer Award to Summer Al Julani. This award is granted to a graduating student in recognition of exemplary student involvement in the community. In addition to being a fabulous student, our winner has made significant contributions to the community and to the school. So congratulations on a well-deserved award, Summer. I'd like to call upon Vice Principal Carl Calhoun to present the MPP Award. The MPP Award is given in recognition of to uh, their exemplary academic performance, their community service, and their leadership in school. And this year's award winner is Hussein Hassan Ali. Well done. I'd like to ask Mr. Scott to present the Ontario Principals Council Award. This award is sponsored by the Ontario Principals Council, to which all administrators, elementary and secondary, belong. It is given to a graduating student who demonstrates scholarship and leadership within the school community. And this year's award goes to Tyler McLeod. Congratulations to Tyler. Now, I'm not certain if Mr. Nirmalan Vadivel has managed to arrive. We have a new award this evening, um, but the family that is, that is sponsoring the award uh, are currently at another one of the family's uh, students' graduations. So I'll be presenting the Pravian Nirmalan M Memorial Award. And this award is presented in memory of Mr. Nirmalan's son, Pravian, a Victoria Park International Baccalaureate student who passed away in 2017 after a courageous battle with cancer. It was created and funded by his classmates, his family, and his friends. This award is presented to an outstanding IB graduate who demonstrates academic excellence, commitment to service, and an outstanding personal character. And this year, the award goes to Aureli Freeman. Now I'd like to call upon Mr. Mark Kissel, the CL of Student Services, who will present two awards. The Student Leadership Council Awards for Citizenship and Outstanding Leadership. The Citizenship Award goes to Scott McNeil. Scott has been consistent, loyal, competent, and a visionary, all while maintaining an excellent academic standing. Congratulations to Scott. And the Outstanding Leadership Award goes to Hassan Alawi. Hassan has demonstrated superior leadership during his time as president of this year's Student Council. Congratulations to Hassan. <laughs> I would like to invite Vice Principal Carl Calhoun to present this year's VP Gold Awards. The VP Gold Award is presented this year to Yajing Lu, A. Shamir, Darshak Patel, and Ravisha Ravintharan. All of these students have made outstanding contributions to the culture and tone of the school through their positive and dedicated leadership throughout their time in high school. Thank you to all four of them for their contribution and congratulations all.
I would now like to call upon Trustee Lister to present the Trustee Leadership Award. This year's awards go to Kasturi Ravishankar and Purusha Thavendran. Congratulations and thank you, Trustee Lister. Once again, I'd like to call upon Dennis Munger to present the U of T Book Award. This is given to a student who demonstrates high academic achievement and an enthusiasm for intellectual exploration. This year's U of T Book Award goes to Cindy Wang. Congratulations to Cindy. I would like to ask now Vice Principal Colin McNeil to please come forward to present the Ursula Handley Fine Arts Award. The Ursula Handley Fine Arts Award is awarded to students who exemplify exceptional skill and ability in the arts, and it is not tied to academic achievement. This year's award goes to Blessed Talbot Hall and Werda Tariq. Well done. Once again, I'd like to call upon Ms. Suzanne Reed to present the next two awards. The Victoria Park Alumni Award goes to a graduating student for outstanding contribution to school life while maintaining academic excellence throughout their years at Victoria Park. This year's recipient is Michelle Dobbin. Thank you, Michelle, for your contribution and congratulations. Now we will present the Victoria Park School Parent Council Awards. These awards go to deserving students in each of the post-secondary pathways. Workplace pathway goes to Flexi Castro-Meyer. Our College Pathway Award goes to Jade Muko. <laughs> the Apprenticeship Pathway Award goes to James Irwood. And the University Pathway goes to Anika Tabasum. Who unfortunately is not here to, to pick up her award. Congratulations to everyone, nevertheless. I'd like to invite Susan Mays, our ACL of Library, to present the VPCI Library Service Award. This award goes to the student or students who have shown an exemplary commitment to assisting with the successful operation of our Learning Resource Center. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Sally Zhu. Yes, and we're all gonna remember about Sally, right? Yeah, okay, just checking. I'd like to call upon Vice Principal Carl Calhoun to present the next award, the Yearbook Award. The Yearbook Award is given to students that went above and beyond in creating our school yearbook. And this year, the award goes to Zara Fatina, 
Ermzad Mukamedan. Oh, I'm not going to say your name right. I'm apologizing now. Ermzad Mukamedan name. Ravisha Ravinthiran and Sarah Reza. This group of very dedicated students worked hard all year long to produce an amazing yearbook. And they did a really great job. Thank you. I would now like to ask Karen Thorne, ACL of Science, to present the YIP Engineering and Science Award. This award is presented to students enrolling in engineering or technology programs at college or university in Ontario. And this year we have multiple winners. The award goes to Hussain Hassan Ali, Ravisha Ravinthiran, Purusha Thavendran, and Judy Shia. Well done to all. The last award for this evening was created in 1873 by Lord Dufferin, Canada's third Governor General after Confederation. For more than 140 years, this medal has been awarded to recognize outstanding scholastic achievement. I would like to call upon Mr. Scott to present this award to the graduating student who has achieved the highest academic average in all of their grade 11 and grade 12 courses. The recipient of the most prestigious Governor General's Academic Medal goes to Cindy Wang. Excellent work. Congratulations, Cindy. Congratulations to all of our award winners. Your selflessness, your hard work has made Victoria Park a memorable high school experience for everyone. And I would now like to ask that the first group of graduates whose surnames begin with the letter A to the letter L to line up along the wall on the right side of the auditorium. And while they're getting ready, I would like to call upon Susanna Reichling, our ACL of Science, to read out the names of the diploma recipients, maybe a little better than I did on one of them, and Vice Principal Carl Calhoun to step forward to present the diplomas. The Ontario Secondary School Diploma is awarded to students who have completed at least 30 high school credits from grade 9 to grade 12, including 18 compulsory and 12 optional credits. They've also passed the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test, otherwise known as the EQAO, and have served at least 40 hours in their school and in their community. The IB Diploma, which is going to be awarded at the same time, is awarded to students who have achieved six IB credits in five core areas, including English, French, Math, Experimental Science, and Social Science. They've also written a 4,000 word extended essay, completed the Theory of Knowledge course, and completed extensive creativity, activity, and service hours. And IB students have also met the criteria for the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Many of our students are also Ontario scholars, and you can check in your program for that, achieving an average of at least 80% in six Ontario academic credits. Even though all of our graduates are not here this evening, all of the recipients are listed in your program. And if we are ready, Ms. Reichling. Roja Ahim Sadasan, 
Recipient of the ID Diploma, Recip uh, Diploma Ontario Scholar, VP Scarlet Award, and an OSSD recipient. <laughs> Rayan Ahmed, an OSSD recipient. <laughs> Mahim Hassan, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Usman Hassan, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Hassan Alawi, Ontario Scholar, SLC Award for Outstanding Leadership, VP Scarlet Award, OSSD recipient. Lava Aldaraji. Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Hanan Ali, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Nabil Ali, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Summer Al Jalani, Ontario Scholar, <laughs> Lieutenant Governor's Community Volunteer Award and OSSD recipient. Dajil Aline, Ontario Scholar, College Science Award and OSSD recipient. <laughs> Safia Al Kazawi, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Goshen Amaran Senthapathy, OSSD recipients. <laughs> Jose Arenas Zavalala, Luis, OSSD recipient. Arushi Aurora, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Mahil Arshad, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Tarek Asi, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Athir Abdallah Bahubashi, OSSD recipient. Karel Bear, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Monique Bacola Salas, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Renee Isabel Barbredo, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Mohamed Bassett, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Sarujan Baskaran, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Shantasia Benjamin Johnson, OSSD recipient. Sandra Nil Biswas, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Ethan Basotas, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Anna Bregu, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Bria Bright, OSSD recipient. Yeah. 
Stephen Brown, OSSD recipient. Atif Kadar, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Flexi Castomayer, Ontario Scholar, Victoria Park School Council Parent Award winner and OSSD recipient. <laughs> Valerie Chan, Ontario Scholar, VP Scarlet Award winner, OSSD recipient. Michelle Chen, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Meng Yan Chen, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Clara Chen, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Daphne Chen, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Vivian Chen, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Gurnakit Chahabra, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Kai Wan Chi, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Katrine Chiu, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> William Compton, OSSD Recipient. Jocelyn Kulinan, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Chidich Dahal, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Reza Dula, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Shanika Dennis Cartazano, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Ali Khan Dejani, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Abdul Rahman Diab, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Ivan Diaz, College Math Award winner, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Madeline Dixon, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Skylar Doe, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Michelle Dobbin, Victoria Park Alumni Award winner, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Daniil Dockery, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Gavin Donaldson, OSSD recipient. Miles Donaldson, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Nuvad Dusani, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Sophia Dasani, OSSD recipient and Ontario scholar. Landu, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient.
Roland Ibrahim, OSSD recipient. Laiva Alahi, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Hassan El Hadari, OSSD recipient. Ronnie Ellis, OSSD recipient. James Irwood, Victoria Park School Council Parent Award winner and OSSD recipient. Cindy Fang, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, Ian Park Merit Prize winner, Music Award winner and OSSD recipient. Hossam Fatala, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Zara Fatina, Ontario Scholar, Yearbook Award winner, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Alexandra Fraser, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Arely Freeman, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, winner of the Praveen Nirmalan Memorial Award, Ian Park Memorial Award for History, English Award, and an OSSD recipient. <laughs> Diana Gallen Corini, Ontario Scholar and OSSD recipient. <laughs> Fei Yu Gao, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Javier George, Ontario Scholar. Jim McQueen Excellence in Education Award winner and OSSD recipient. Ilian Gorgev, uh, OSSD recipient. Malak Gandhi, OSSD recipient. Aman Gaswala, Ontario Scholar, Economics Award winner and OSSD recipient. <laughs> China Gomez, Community Police Liaison Committee Scholarship Award winner, Vic Park Scarlet Award and OSSD recipient. <laughs> Tay Grant, OSSD recipient. He Jing Guo, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Ali Hochem, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Sarah Haji Mustafich, Ontario Scholar, Healthy Active Living Award winner, OSSD Recipient. Colin Hamilton, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Abdullah Hassan, OSSD recipient. Aisha Hashmi, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Ifash Hassan, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Hussein Hassan Ali, MPP Award, YIP Engineering and Science Award winner, OSSD Scholar, Ontario Scholar and OSSD recipient. <laughs> Ali 
Alanud Hamadan, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Gary Huang, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Ming Zhao Huang, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Sophia Huang, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Victor Huy, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Mohamed Humadan, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Catherine Hunt, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Juaria Isar, Ontario Scholar, Ian Park Merit Prize winner, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Hussein Ali Jafar, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Harry Gia, Ontario Scholar, Design Award, English Award winner, and OSSD recipient. <laughs> Owen Jin, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Batul Jundi, Ontario Scholar, Social Science and Humanities Award winner, OSSD recipient. Rafat Kabir, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Zohib Kakar, OSSD recipient. Thank you. Jaitaj Kala, OSSD recipient. Grace Kang, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Batul Kasim, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Aisha Khan, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, Baudwin Van Bemmel Geography Award winner and OSSD Recipient. Hassan Khan, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Maisha Khan, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Shamal Khan, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Yasha Khan, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Han Kim, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Gerald Kraja, OSSD recipient. Molly Kumpf, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Kyle Lamb, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Michelle Lamb, OSSD recipient. Henry Leung, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Jeremy Leung, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar and OSSD Recipient.
Catherine Lee, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Eric Lee, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, Computer Science and Engineering Award winner, VP Scarlet Award winner, and OSSD recipient. <laughs> Lillian Lee, Ontario Scholar, English Award winner, and OSSD recipient. Patrick Lee, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar and OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Xu Jing Lee, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> David Lee, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Ashley Liang, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Kathleen Liang, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Jeff Lin, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Jing Hong Lin, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Yu Ying Lin, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, VP Scarlet Award winner, and OSSD Recipient. John Liu, on IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> ya Jing Liu, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, VP Gold Award winner, and OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Penny Liu, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Samuel Lai, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Woo! Parsa Mathmud, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Janani Mathayalagan, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Aidan McLeod, Ontario Scholar, Denzel Min and Wong Community Spirit Award, Healthy Active Living Award, and OSSD recipient. Tyler McLeod, Ontario Scholar, Ontario Principals Council Award and OSSD recipient. <laughs> Scott McNeil, Ontario Scholar, SLC Award for Citizenship, University Math Award, Ontario Science Award and OSSD recipient. <laughs> Aisha Medima, Ontario Scholar, Photography Award and OSSD recipient. Yachan Men, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, and OSSD Recipient. Aisha Mir, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, VP Gold Award, and OSSD Recipient. Zafir Mohammed, OSSD Recipient. Marcy Mazafari, OSSD recipient. Jade Pascal Musso, Ontario Scholar, Victoria Pard School, 
Parent Council Award and OSSD recipient. <laughs> Mina Hill Nadim, OSSD recipient. <laughs> David Nahapatan, Ontario Scholar, Technology Award and OSSD recipient. Quadri Naimi, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, and OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Faija Nawal, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Navitha Nirmalaraja, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Sepan Nosrati Inanilu, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Irina Nushikan, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Louis Ogini, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Siyan Pan, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Rohana Param, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Darshak Patel, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, VP Gold Award, and OSSD Recipient. Darshil Patel, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Ashfi Pathan, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Gavin Pereira. Pereira. Gavin Pereira, Ontario Scholar, Business Award, OSSD Recipient. Andre Pua, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Jerryat Pernava, IB diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, VP Scarlet Award, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Mutakim Rahman, IB diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Ali Rajabali, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Harish Ramachandran, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, Brian Chong Memorial Award in Physics, and OSSD recipient. <laughs> Hari Krishna Ramaraju. IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Vikram Ramarathanam, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Ravisha Ravitharan. IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, VP Gold Award, Yearbook Award, Yep, Engineering and Science Award and OSSD recipient. <laughs> Kiran Ravi Shankar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Kashthuri Ravi Shankar, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, Trustee Lister's Leadership Award and OSSD recipient. Khalid Ramtula, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Yeah, 
Kanya Chen. IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Sarah Reza, Ontario Scholar, Yearbook Award, OSSD recipient. Morsal Sadat, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Iman Sahir, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Obeda Sele, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Parth Serene, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Samian Saeed, OSSD recipient. Herschel Senthil Nathan, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Prathika Senthaseon, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Rubab Shafiq, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Ramin Shahid, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Altamash Sheikh, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Usama Shaquille, OSSD recipient. Jyoti Sharma, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Ifaz Schichter, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Mustafa Sialvi, OSSD recipient. Chelsea Singh, OSSD recipient. Achutharan Sivakumaran, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, and OSSD recipient. Janarthan Civil Income, Ontario, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Christian Solomon, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, and OSSD recipient. Ennis Spahu, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Thanogen, Sri Somas Catherine, OSSD recipient. Krishna, Srin Venasitharan, IB diploma recipient, Ontario scholar, OSSD recipient. Saran Sri Shankar. IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Vivian Sue, Ontario Scholar, Exceptional Achievement Award, OSSD Recipient. Adrian Subakaran, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient.
Jasmine Sibaskaran, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Padmavani Subramanian, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Namir Saeed, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Panya Tang, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Werda Tariq, Ontario Scholar. Ursula Handley Fine Arts Award, Exceptional Leadership Award, and OSSD recipient. Ann Tang, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Arthi Thamathanaranathan, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Dethusian Thassan, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Parush Thamandran, Ontario Scholar, Trustee Lister Leadership Award, VP Scarlet Award, YIP Engineering and Science Award, and OSSD recipient. Thulasika Thevakesaran, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Tharini Thevakumar, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Jeffrey Thevaranjan, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Agassan Thiala Garasubin, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Janisha Thomas, Ontario Scholar, Visual Art Award, and OSSD recipient. Margaret Tian, Ontario Scholar, Film Award, and OSSD recipient. Gabrielle Tompkins, OSSD recipient. Rodin Mar Taralba, OSSD recipient. Gomi Tut, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Anushka Tiagi, Ontario Scholar, VP Scarlet Award, OSSD recipient. Ryan Wagners, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Daniel Valencia, OSSD recipient. Manasvi Manana, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Jade Venn, OSSD recipient. Shankavi Vigneshwaran, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Saria Walker, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient.
Andrew Wang, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, Economics Award, IB Math Award, and OSSD Recipient. Cheng Yu Wang, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Cindy Wang, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, Brian Zhang Memorial Award in Physics, U of T Book Award, IB Math Award, and OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Fei Wang, Ontario Scholar and OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Sophie Wang, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar and OSSD Recipient. Duvindu Wataj, OSSD recipient. Cindy Wei, IB diploma recipient, Ontario scholar, OSSD recipient. Isabel Wegel Mohammed, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, Equity Award, and OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Isaiah Winston, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Karen Wong, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, and OSSD Recipient. Mateos Workalum, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Jillian Wu, IB diploma recipient, Ontario scholar, and OSSD recipient. <laughs> Judy Shah. Ontario Scholar, Dr. John Hemme Memorial Math Bursary, YIP Engineering and Science Award, Ontario Science Award, and OSSD recipient. Iris Yan, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Harry Yao, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD recipient. Victor Yu, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Richard Yuan, Yuan. Richard Yuan Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Lily Yuan, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Emma Zhang, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Yitong Zhang, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Tiffany Zhao, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Han Zhang, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. Chan Lin Zhao, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. David Zhao. IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, OSSD Recipient. <laughs> Sally Zhao, IB Diploma Recipient.
Ontario Scholar, VPCI Library Service Award, and OSSD recipient. Thank you to Ms. Reichling and Mr. Calhoun, Mr. Larratt Smith, and Ms. Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the class of 2018. I would now like to call upon next year's SLC president, David Liu, to introduce Victoria Park's 2018 valedictorian. David? Very good. Hi, I'm David. <laughs> to be named valedictorian of your graduating class is a special honor. The valedictorian is selected by the graduating class to speak on their behalf and reflect on their collective years together at Victoria Park. His positive attitude and leadership skills have been very evident in the fantastic range of activities in which he has participated. Ladies and gentlemen, graduates, I present to you your valedictorian for 2018, Hassan Alawi. <laughs> Hello? Can you guys hear me? Just making sure. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty nervous, you know, I'm sweating and all, and the black doesn't really help, but we'll get through this, we'll get through this. So hello everyone, so before I begin, I'd like to shout out a couple of people. Uh, my parents, mom, where are you? <laughs> hey, hey, what's up? Uh, I'd also like shout out to my sisters. <laughs> all right, uh, also a special shout out goes to the staff. Uh, they dealt with us, so that's kind of huge, so yeah. Another shout out, sorry, let me just get through this. Uh, off the office staff who helped us with this commencement over here. So, one more time. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just gonna remove this before it falls and that's a whole other issue. So, I'd like to start this speech off by asking you all to stand up. Now move to the left. Have you guys moved to the left? Now move to the right. Now bring it back down. <laughs> now, okay, I'll wait for everyone to get down. Uh, this, I've been waiting to use this line, so I'm gonna. Um, now, above all things, I could say that I moved you. Okay. Where's the teeth? A teeth? I know you like that. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I had no idea how to start the speech. I figured that once I got into roll, I just know what to do, and then it just come to me. I thought maybe I could, um, oh, act like I forgot what I was saying so I could keep you guys interested. <laughs> I continue, I'm gonna put this down. I continue to think of some anecdotes I could throw in there, maybe an inside joke we all shared, but nothing. But before I could continue to think about how I was gonna start my speech, I was already well into it. And that's a lot like how high school was for me. I think we all remember our first couple days at VP very well. I personally remember my grade nine year very well. I remember hearing so many of you guys complain about ICS and how hard that course was. And you know who you are. I also remember that dreading feeling whenever Mr. Ivins would say we had to run laps in gym class. For those of you who were in Mr. Ivins class, shout out. <clears throat> but alas, grade nine was four years ago. Speaking of four years ago, you know what else we used to do a lot? Ask FM, who remembers that? <laughs> oh, that, was, that was sick. I remember looking at all these TBHs and keeping up with all the school drama because that was a hub for all of it. <clears throat> it's crazy though, how fast time has gone by yet how much we've all grown. Now, before I get too into that, let's talk a little bit about VP. In this school, I've come to learn maths, languages, and when the stars aligned on, on rare occasions, a little bit of chemistry. VP has also taught me that ultimate frisbee is a sport. And if you dare question it, there are certain grade 12s out there who will hunt you down. <clears throat> In 
In this school, I've met many close friends. But there are some of you who I didn't really get to know that well. That's something I feel I'll regret. On the other hand, there are some of you guys that I know a bit too well. Especially the rugby boys. Where's Colin? Yeah, you know what you did. <laughs> uh, speaking of the rugby boys, it's no secret. I'd like to give them a shout out for always throwing the best passes ever. <laughs> really helped me out on the field. <clears throat> so back to what I was saying. We're all moving away from VP. I say that as the manager of the Parkway McDonald's sheds a tear knowing that half his con consumer base is moving on. <laughs> so back to what I was saying. We may be moving on from VP, but VP, VP isn't going anywhere. Mr. Slave will still have his helpers. <laughs> Miss Reed will always find a way to play the national anthem and land acknowledgement every day even today, Mr. LS will still be yelling at the senior boys to show up to practice. Miss Mays and Mr. Ho will still be kicking us out of the library. <laughs> and, and Mr. Prokotai, every single day, will lean back with his key, open the door, and let out a hefty, come on in. <laughs> See, none of that will change. But us, we will. Whether we like it or not, change will come. I'm 5'10", and if I'm not six feet by the end of post-secondary, Dad, where are you again? I'm blaming you. <laughs> I've been saving that for about five years. <laughs> it's difficult to sum up four years of high school experiences within one speech. And I'm sure there are, multiple, there, are so, there are many of you who are amplitudes more qualified to say what I'm about to say. In grade nine, I delivered a speech to you guys for the grade nine rep elections. I told you guys how we all had the ABCs. A for ambition, B for you beautiful people, you know who you are, and C for confidence. But as four years have gone by, I've learned a lot about you guys. And, like to, and I'd like to change one of those letters. That letter being the letter C. Because as four years passed, this class became a community. A community that shaped each other for better or for worse. And most importantly, the best community I could have asked for for the last four years of my life. <clears throat> <clears throat> of course, our community is missing someone tonight, and that is Oswald Pond. I'm sure we can all agree, one way or another, he is with us tonight, and he is part of the community that we have all built here at VP. Surely, no matter what way you cut it, we're gonna miss this school. The lack of AC, the lack of toilet paper, and avoiding the swimming pool hallway, because you don't know what you'd see. <laughs> but you know, the thing I'm going to miss most about this school isn't the SLC office. I love that room, though. Thank you, Mr. Kissel. And it isn't the yummy breakfast club food either, which also thank you, Mr. Kissel. <laughs> the thing I'm going to miss most about VP is the people I met in it. And I'm truly honored to be able to speak on all of yours behalf. Now, before I end the speech, I'd like to leave you all on this note. One way or another, we're leaving VP a different person than entered it. And you know what? That's a good thing. Over four years, we've learned so much about ourselves, and there's so much more to be learned. The point I'm trying to make is that change will happen, but that's how I think the fear. And I'm sure the parents and uh, guests out here will agree that stress will come in our future 100%. But we've been dealing through it, and, we'll, and we will sure to be dealing, through, dealing with it in the future as well. And the future holds so much good to come out as well. So keep posting on Insta. Keep sending streak snaps. Keep doing what you want to do. Uh, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. The one, the one last thing to say here now is, we're done, guys. And congratulations to the class of 2018. How do you follow that? I know how Mr. Lister feels now. Thank you very much, Hassan. In recognition of being chosen as valedictorian, we have a little memento for you, which you are already taking away. <laughs> very good. So ladies and gentlemen, 
Thank you all very much for joining us here this evening for the celebration of the achievements of the Victoria Park Collegiate Institute graduating class of 2018. We would like everyone to join the graduates as their guests at the reception that is being laid out at the back of this room as I speak. We'd also like to re remind the graduates to return their gowns and pick up their real diplomas. Yeah, those are just fake. Uh, in the main office, back at the school, yes, you'll have to come back, beginning this coming Tuesday. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to ask ask you to stand at your seats to honor our graduates as the platform party and the graduates recess to the reception area at the back of the hall. <laughs> 